trying to monitor the screech owl population because over long periods of time, um, a lot of species like screech owls have been uh, declining because of loss of habitat, uh, housing construction. So we get a really a lot of valuable information from banding. We get information on home range as well as lifespans and nest box fidelity and things like that. All right, what we're doing is checking the wood duck box to clean it out. Okay, we have a screech owl in here. It's a brown phase. Oh, have to act wild on me. What's really neat here, oh, come down here, buddy. Uh, it's a recapture. We uh, banded this one on another outing we went on. These are uh, bands that are issued by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. They're actually lock-on bands. Um, they're used on raptors. But when you put them on, they lock, you, you crimp them on. Each band has an individual number on it. So if, um, if we capture, recapture a bird or someone else captures it, it finds it somewhere, uh, we can track down exactly where it was banded and how long ago it was banded. Definitely they won't hurt the bird at all. It's just just new jewelry for them. And what's really neat, it has um, a prey that it's stored. This is actually a microtus, it's a metavole. Um, the screech owls commonly prey on all kinds of small animals like small, small mammals and birds and frogs and salamanders and insects. So anyway, we're gonna process this bird. We're gonna get some information on them. There's three phases of screech owls. Uh, there's the red phase, the gray phase, and the brown one. And the brown one is relatively unusual. We don't catch these guys very often, so this is really an unusual treat. And, you know, actually the original intent of this project is to clean out our wood duck boxes to provide habitat for wood ducks. We originally banded this bird in 2009 in this box. They, they have a high nest site fidelity, uh, which means they stay, we commonly find them in the same box year after year. Um, we do find some individuals that will be used several different boxes, but they're all in a relatively close okay, proximity. Seven, so they, they have a relatively zero, small home five, range, maybe three, uh, perhaps three. three acres or so. Now the other thing we'll do now is to weigh the bird. A nice clean pillow case to work with today. Well, we do it so we can weigh the bird easily, and then, yeah, the less, the less they can see, the less disturbed they'll get. Oh boy, he has to be really active on us here, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, write down 280 grams. Okay, now, the next part of the process is to clean the wood duck box out. So we take the old material and dump it. And just put all new nesting material in. Now these boxes are primarily for wood ducks, but um, wood ducks and screech owls will share the box. What I mean is if a wood duck comes in to nest in the box, the screech owl will leave and they'll come back later after the wood duck is done nesting. Okay, now we put the prey back in the box. Okay, we're ready to put the bird back in. Actually in Little Creek, normally we, we um, capture probably 20 screech owls. Uh, a large percentage of, of them have been captured previously, so they're already banded. So we might, we might band about 25% of that in Little Creek Wildlife Area. And that's basically it. Um, Usually the bird calms down in a couple of minutes and then, and then we can just go on our way to the next box. Well, the average lifespan for a screech owl is about a year. Uh, what's re really interesting about the study we're conducting here is we're finding some birds that we have banded 12 years previous to, uh, to the last banding. We originally used wooden wood duck boxes. We build them in our shop. 
and we still use them at times, but this is a, a plastic box that's actually designed by Frank Bellrose, who was the wood duck biologist. Uh, he was the original wood duck biologist in the country who did a lot of research on nest structures for wood ducks, and he designed the box. And what's really good about these boxes is they're very low maintenance. You know, wood tends to rot or the hinges fall off or rust or something like that. With these boxes, we don't we have very little maintenance unless we get vandalism or something like that. These plastic wood ducks boxes are available from the Division of Fish and Wildlife at a relatively low cost. Uh, wood duck boxes should be placed in like a wooded wetland inside the woods preferably because if you leave the wood duck box put it out in the open somewhere we have a real problem with starlings uh, just competing for the box. Oh really we, we found um, we find a lot of strange things in our boxes. Uh, we find flying squirrels nesting in our boxes. We find gray squirrels. Once in a while there'll be a raccoon in one of our boxes. We, we try to uh, prevent other species from getting in. We have predator guards to keep raccoons and snakes out, but once in a while they can figure out ways to get in.